Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim from First Summit God in Burlington, Kansas, in the sanctuary of the church. I hope you're having a great day on this 6th of, of September. Hope you're blessed. Uh, it is Wednesday night, so I want to encourage you to come out for adult Bible study or, or youth ministry or, or children's ministry. We've got something for everyone. We're talking about You Decide. I also want to, before I get into this a little bit more, this weekend, the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th, it, uh, actually, the 7th, 8th, and 9th it is OK Kids out at John Redmond Dam. It's going to be awesome. Come out Sunday morning. Our church service will be out there at 9 o'clock. Come out and get some biscuits and gravy. The firefighters will be making it for us. And then come and join us for our morning service at 9 o'clock. John Redmond, John Men Rhett West, Picnic Pavilion number 6. It is going to be a great time. It's just, it's, it's going to be awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be talking about camp almost. All right. So anyways, we're talking about you decide. You, you know, we, we decide. Listen to this. Um, isn't it interesting that, that how we get mad at God when he doesn't seem to be paying attention to us, but when he does answer our prayers, we don't, we don't like how it, he does it. The bottom line is we are hard to please. See, we pray, God, will you do this for me? Will you, will you meet this prayer request? And, and when he doesn't do it just the way that we think he ought to do it, we get ticked. How ridiculous is that? See, God wants us to follow him. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to grow stronger in him. But God isn't going to make us do anything. He gives us an opportunity to choose between following a God who is 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 the eternal God, a personal God, a holy God, a dependable God, or following our enemy who is rebellious, selfish, and a destroyer of anything that is good. So you decide. Who, would, who do you want to follow? Listen, this, Matthew 7, 13, and 14 says this, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to death, only to find few, few will find it. See, when we begin to look and understand this, there is decisions even here. There's two roads, the narrow road and the wide road. And we have a choice to make. Which one? And, and a lot of times we'll say, oh, I'm going to take the wide road because it seems like the easiest. Because it's free flowing and, 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 and it is what the world gives us. The world gives us the, the just do it society. That let's do what we want to do, what, what makes us feel good. And then the narrow road is, it, it is actually in alignment. It is, it is smaller. It is, it is harder to travel sometimes because there, there is less room to sway back and forth. When the wide road gives you a lot of opportunity to sway back and forth, your, your convictions are not really convictions. They're whatever feels good or whatever direction you want to go. And so this morning, I want you to understand that, that we have a choice to make. You have a choice to either go on a narrow road that leads to, leads to heaven and leads to eternal life and, and glory, or go the wide road which leads to hell and damnation and oh yeah damnation and and the fact is we have a choice to make you and i have a choice to make um that you say well i'm just going to stay here on earth there is no in between there's heaven or hell and, and i'm just encouraging this morning you decide habakkuk 2 4 and 5 says see the enemy is puffed up but desires are not upright, but the righteous person will live by his faithfulness. Indeed, wine betrays him. He is arrogant and never at rest because he is greedy as a grave, and like the de death, he is never satisfied. He gathers to himself the nations and takes captive all people. See, on this road that we see, there, there's indicators. You know, as you r drive on the road, as you're traveling on the road, there's indicators. There's speed limits. There's do not enter signs. There's slow down. There's even signs in some states where you're not supposed to ride. So, you know, it's, it's the carpool lane. And, and if you don't pay attention to the signs, you may get pulled over and have a ticket. Anyways, so as you begin to uh, comprehend that there's two... There's signs to each road. And so when you grasp this, as we get into this, first we're going to deal with the, the signs of the, the road that leads to life. We'll deal with that tomorrow, and then Friday we'll deal with the roads that lead to destruction. 
So may God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Let me pray for you. Lord, bless every single person. God, give them a great day, and may they honor you with your life in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.